Astra launched its first rocket into orbit from Alaska early Saturday after falling short on three previous tries. An achievement company official said will unlock tremendous demand for its small satellite launch service. Humiliating for other big space companies? Let us find out. But before that, we welcome you all to our YouTube channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with the very latest. Company officials did not disclose a schedule for its next mission in a virtual briefing with reporters Monday. But a NASA official said Astra's next mission will carry six small CubeSat payloads into orbit for the space agency and could take off before the end of the year. Astra's rocket, designated Rocket 3.3 or LV-0007, launched from the Pacific Spaceport Complex on Kodak Island, Alaska at 1.16 a.m. EST on Saturday. Heading south from Kodak, the 43-foot-tall, 4.3-foot-wide rocket soared high above the Pacific Ocean, then arced downrange to gain speed on the way to orbit. Liftoff occurred at 9.16 p.m. local time in Alaska, where a lean crew of five Astra engineers and technicians readied the rocket for liftoff in recent weeks. Five kerosene field Delphin engines combined to generate 32,500 pounds of sea level thrust, which powered the launcher in the first two minutes, 50 seconds, of the mission. The first stage jettisoned a few seconds later, followed by separation of the payload shroud on top of the rocket. A single ether engine ignited on the second stage to accelerate the rocket to orbital velocity, reaching a speed of more than 17,000 miles per hour at cutoff nearly nine minutes after liftoff. The test flight delivered a non-separating payload to orbit for the US Space Force, which named the mission STP-27 AD-2. The Space Force considered the launch a demonstration mission to evaluate Astra's launch capabilities for future military satellites. Military tracking data showed the rocket reached an orbit between 272 miles and 315 miles in altitude with an inclination angle of 86 degrees to the equator. Benjamin Lyon, Astra's chief engineer, called it a phenomenal flight, adding that the rocket hits its altitude and inclination targets. This is a pretty historic milestone for Astra, said Chris Kemp, Astra's founder, chairman and CEO, just over five years since we incorporated Astra and started building the facility we're now in. We were able to learn our way to orbit, as we like to say, launch by launch, increasing the capabilities and operational efficiencies of our system along the way. And we're now focusing on delivering for our customers and scaling up the production and the launch cadence of our system, Kemp said. Founded in 2016, Astra designed its rockets to deploy small payloads, pursuing a launch market to deliver CubeSats, nanosatellites and microsatellites into orbit. With Saturday's successful flight, Astra reached orbit a little more than five years since its founding, beating the six-year mark from the establishment of SpaceX until its first orbital flight with the Falcon 1 rocket in 2008. Astra officials have said they eventually hope to launch daily, tapping demand from the US military, commercial companies and scientific institutions to rapidly deploy new space capabilities. To do that, Astra wants to build rockets on an assembly line at its factory in Alameda, California, then ship the vehicles, along with required ground infrastructure, to distant launch sites in standard cargo trailers. A small team with less than a dozen engineers and technicians can set up the rocket and its mobile launch pad at an austere launch site in a few days. Kemp said the successful launch into orbit proved Astra's iterative development process where engineers design, build and test hardware and software, then rapidly redesign and retest systems if they fail. While it's less expensive for one of these smaller vehicles to fail, it still takes time and time is money, Kemp said. Astra's first orbit-capable rocket, named Rocket 3.0, was supposed to launch in February 2020 in an effort sponsored by the US Military Advanced Research Projects Agency to demonstrate responsive launch capability. But the mission did not get off the ground before DARPA's deadline after a series of delays. Astra intended to try again to launch Rocket 3.0, but the vehicle was destroyed in an accident during a wet dress rehearsal or fueling test at Kodak.
Astra's first orbital launch attempt on September 11, 2020, used Rocket 3.1, which ended 30 seconds after takeoff when a guidance system problem caused the rocket to drift off course. In response, the rocket engines were commanded to shut down and the vehicle fell back to a spaceport in Kodak Island. On December 15, 2020, Astra's Rocket 3.2 nearly achieved enough speed to enter orbit, but the upper stage engine shut down just seconds before it was supposed to cut off, leaving the rocket just shy of orbital velocity. The vehicle re-entered the atmosphere, and most of it burnt up. Rocket 3.3 debuted several changes to Astra's design when it launched for the first time on August 28th. It's around 5 feet taller than the rockets Astra used for its first two orbital launch attempts last year, with stretched first stage tanks to hold more propellant and a lighter second stage. The new rocket configuration can carry heavier cargo into orbit, according to Astra. Astra also implemented a closed-loop control system on the first Rocket 3.3 mission, also called LV-0006, to fix a propellant mixture issue that caused the previous launch last December to fail seconds before reaching orbit. The August 28th mission was cut short by the premature shutdown of one of the rocket's five kerosene field Dolphin main engines. The loss of thrust caused the rocket to briefly falter just above the launch pad, then veer sideways before the four remaining engines slowly propelled the vehicle into the sky. With four of its five engines operating, the rocket's guidance, navigation and control system corrected course and tried to compensate for the thrust shortfall but the vehicle climbed slower than designed. After the vehicle reached supersonic speed, a range safety officer on the ground issued a flight termination command about two and a half minutes into the flight. Astra engineers traced the problem to a propellant leak in the quick disconnect interface between the rocket and the launch pad. The LV-0007 mission was built on lessons learned from Astra's previous orbital launch attempts. We're out of the test phase, Kemp said on Monday. We'll be resuming with commercial payloads that will be operating for our customers in low Earth orbit. That's not to say that there won't be more test flights in the future. We have a new rocket 4.0. We'll be flying a new test flights of that next year. And that's really something that we'll have the opportunity to focus on right now. But the Rocket 3.X series will go into production and will go into launch operations. Kemp said the Rocket 3 series, in its current configuration, can haul a payload of around 110 pounds into a 310-mile mid-inclination orbit. Astra's goal is to launch one rocket a day by 2025, dropping its $2.5 million price point. Wow, the competition is getting stronger. Let us know your thoughts on this. We are happy to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.